It was as a young KGB spy that Alexander Libedev first rifled through the pages of the Evening Standard. He says he used the paper to search for hints of capitalism's decline, not as a coded symbol for the cloak and dagger drops so beloved of spy fiction. But the former Russian spook's desire to turn British media mogul is an extraordinary plot twist, especially because the paper he wants to acquire is a historic part of the British establishment, long run by some of the country's most blue-blooded aristocrats, the Rothermeers. The Rothermeers did not interfere. They hired the finest talent available and they allowed their editors to edit. Now, Lebedev, um, if he acquires the paper, he has said that he will not interfere into, in the politics of the paper or the editorial uh, aspects of the newspaper, but merely content himself uh, with the business aspects of the paper. And the business side of the standard is struggling, faced with London's free sheets and the recession. Interestingly enough, the latest edition of the standard doesn't mention Mr. Lebedev's interests, but there's no doubt that his fortunes are faring rather better than the papers. He's now worth an estimated two billion pounds and would be following in the footsteps of other Russian oligarchs like Roman Abramovich, the Anglophile owner of Chelsea Football Club, Arkady Gaidamak, the co-owner of another premiership club, Portsmouth, and Aloysia Osmanov, who bought a quarter of Arsenal FC. But Mr. Lebedev, who owns this Moscow-based newspaper, insists he's different. And the Baya Gazeta is one of the last Russian papers still critical of the Kremlin. It employed the murdered investigative correspondent Anna Polakovskaya. Editors here insist their proprietor simply leaves them to it. It seems to me that examining bureaucracy and going after often corrupt officials is one of the things Alexander Lebedev is most interested in, and he wants to do that in Europe as well as Russia. The ex-spy is certainly no friend of his former KGB colleague Vladimir Putin. Getting his hands on the standard may give him a platform to express that, but it might also safeguard the future of a paper he once searched for signs of capitalism's demise. Rachel Younger, Sky News.